And uh, in part, I kind of was thinking as you were talking, it's, it's interesting because I've seen recently a couple of articles of Confederate memorialization in, in Liverpool. Of, I think there's a, a statue or mm -hmm. something of a marker. And it's sort of, it, it almost seems that Liverpool is sort of torn between its, its different histories of being that um, base where Confederates build worship or privateers, you have the slave trade. We, how, do we, how do we remember it? I think you mentioned street names that are being talked about too. Mm -hmm. um, is there sort of a public engagement in the city where they, they're trying to work as a, as, as a city through this past? Or is it more of a um, certain groups that are trying to influence? I would say that it, it has the, the city has been under pressure since the, the late 1980s to engage with this past. Um, then the museum is the result of that. Members of uh, the black community, they uh, organized uh, tours, uh, then uh, slavery tours to allow people in the city and from the outside to um, then to know the sites that are associated with slavery and the Atlantic slave trade. But of course, there are problems. And we are going to have, depending on the period, uh, then we are going to have Lord Mayors that uh, are um, um, black, uh, black British and so on, who will try to engage, like in Bristol, then uh, depending on the period, there is more engagement. But I would say that the biggest achievement in terms of the, this public acknowledgement is the, the museum then uh, unveiled in 2007 and there is the walk of remembrance that happens uh, every August uh, that is uh, uh, then an entire week indeed that uh, we have activities uh, conferences uh, performances and it ends with uh, this walk that gathers then uh, academics, activists, and so on, and members of the, the com black community, their allies, and so on, that uh, we walk through the, uh, the downtown area, and this ends up uh, in front of the museum, mm -hmm. where there is a, a ceremony, libation, and so on. Then, in many ways, this is a way of expanding the, the presence of the museum in the city, but there are problems as well which is a number of sites where uh, the docks were, uh, mm -hmm. churches, uh, streets, that perhaps locals, some locals, they know what uh, the, the, the links with uh, the Atlantic slave trade, but uh, there, there are no markers. Mm -hmm. And we do not see any monument, any marker, or, uh, any memorial. In this, I would say that is uh, an element that is problematic. Um, for example, uh, the, the streets that are named after uh, slave merchants or that are associated with um, the history of the slavery and the Atlantic slave trade, we know about that, of course. If you take a tour that is a specialized tour, uh, if you read uh, perhaps a booklet on the internet or if you go to the museum because the museum has a display with uh, indicating that those those streets are associated with uh, the wealth generated by the Atlantic slave trade, then this is still problematic. Uh, for example, the uh, the city hall also that mm -hmm. most of those mayors that were involved with the Atlantic slave trade, you can visit the place, and there is a particular time in the year when you have uh, those open. Um, days that you can enter there and you can have a tea, you can visit the place and you see those portraits everywhere and nothing indicates that those men were associated with uh, the Atlantic slave trade. Mm 